Hello everyone, my name is Squid Head Joe and this is the Junko M20 RGB Bluetooth speakers. Now Junko did send this out to me for a review, but they do not see the review before it goes live. And any thoughts and opinions or pros and cons are of my own. Now with that being said, let's talk about these speakers. Now inside the box, you're gonna have the, the speakers themselves wrapped in uh, bubble wrap, which is nice. And then on top of that, you're going to have um, the warranty card and the user manual. The user manual is kind of self-explanatory. Uh, it's just like a little sheet of paper. And again, they just have a little warranty card. Now your box might not come in an actual Amazon box. It might just come in one of their little plastic uh, sleeve things. That's what happened. And as you can see, my box is kind of uh, beat up just a little bit. So just keep that in mind. It's not necessarily Gene Cone's fault. It's just how Amazon decides to deliver uh, said package. Now. With that being said, and we got that out the way, the unique thing and feature about these uh, speakers is the fact that it has a locking mechanism. And as you can see, you just pull the speakers apart, they interlocked. So now you can lay the speakers down on your desk in a flat manner and uh, listen that way. Or like I said, you could unlock them and lay them like that, like the normal fashion. Now I will say the locking mechanism probably need some uh, wear and tear you know gradually it'll probably get a little bit loose but at least on mine they're pretty stiff which is kind of good um, I mean most of the time you could probably just lay your speakers down anyway but the locking mechanism just makes it a, a whole unit and pretty much able to move around your setup if you want to lay them down like that um, generally speaking I'm not an audiophile so I wouldn't really know how to really test these, these speakers or anything like that but I know there are people out there who say that you should have your speakers uh, kind of level with your ears and aim and port at, uh, pointing at you instead of laying down on a desk or having just the desk speakers like this. Um, so just keeping that in mind, that's as far as my stint and knowledge goes. So I'm not coming from an uh, audiophile uh, direction with this. I'm actually coming from a place of... I like to use a lot of budget gear, even my camera setups, lighting, all that stuff like that would be on the high, like the higher tier end of a budget, uh, I guess, purchase. And that's where these speakers uh, shine, in my personal opinion. So let's go ahead and talk about uh, the build quality and the ins and outs, and then we'll get into the pros and the cons. They sound hollow inside and um, the speaker is actually shifted to up here. And I'm guessing all this down here, I'm not really sure what's in this compartment because it just, all the weight feels like it's at the top of the speaker. And this part sounds really, really hollow. So just keeping that in mind when you are uh, purchasing something at this price point. And if you're wondering if the price about this, this is about $30 on Amazon. Um, it's kind of including shipping and tax or whatever it might be a little bit over that but um for around this price point this is what you're going to get um i know a lot of people were like i can just go to walmart and get you know the cheaper speakers there and everything sometimes you might be able to get you a little subwoofer or wherever maybe um with that um but with these speakers again they come with the rgb but now at the, uh, the dial at the top uh just con continues the free roam um which is uh might not be what people expect they probably expect to go just to positive and uh and negative or whatever turning it up turning it down which way um the dial does have a tactile uh clicking mechanism when you do rotate the dial and when you push it down it is a satisfying thick click that you can hear and that's how you will turn the speaker on you will turn it uh off if you hold three, hold it down for three seconds, it will switch from YouTube, uh, Bluetooth to USB, which is how you're gonna um, use it with uh, your PC, your laptop, um, anything like that. That's going to be your method of connection. And then for phones, tablets, um, things of that nature, you would use the Bluetooth setting and it will tell you Bluetooth mode or USB mode. Um, which I actually really like there's a voice that says that and then when you turn it on or wherever it makes a noise And when you turn it off, it does make a noise as well Now when you do turn off the speakers, there is an audible connection um, I would say white noise or hiss whatever you want to call it It is audible when you get close to the speakers But if you're using this in the office scenario or you're like your setup or whatever 
um, and you have other things going like a TV, you talking, you know, playing a game or something like that, your odds are you're not going to hear that hiss. But if you're dead quiet and you just listen, you can probably hear it. And it's honestly, I tried to record it, but it's hard for me to even pick up in my microphone without turning up the gain and getting just the auditory hiss from doing that. Build quality overall, like I said, you're thirty dollars. You're not you're not going to get anything like really premium. Um, but I will say uh, build quality, having speakers, doing everything. I've had Bose speakers. I had Walmart speakers and stuff like that throughout the years and everything. And I would say this is probably on the higher end of below $50 um, as far as quality goes in the feel and stuff like that. It's not the best. It's not going to blow your mind. It's not something revolutionary. Even the locking mechanism, we're starting to see that with speakers nowadays. But again, just my overall thoughts and impressions of taking out of the box. Let's go ahead and uh, talk about the pros and the cons. Wish the RGB um, had a strip or something like that. You have the strip right here. Um, I wish that it went all the way through. And uh, let me actually turn on the RGB for you guys to see. And I'll continue my explanation. USB mode. Now, I don't know if you could actually hear that, but it said USB mode um, when you plug it in. And then obviously, like I said, you hold down the top button for, uh, for three seconds and then it'll say Bluetooth mode. And it's easy to pair. It shows up at the, as Junco M20 um, as you're uh, in your Bluetooth settings and stuff like that. Um, to cycle through the RGB sections or actually just hold it, you just click the button once, single tap, and it will sing, it will go through the RGB spectrum. And then um, once you tap through enough or wherever, it will go back to just the regular RGB uh, cycling. So my con about this is again, you have this strip or wherever that could have just went all the way down the speaker or you know around the edges of the actual speaker itself. I kind of wish that it would have just, you know, did that more flashy, especially if I'm gonna connect both speakers on their sides or wherever and have it like this. Um, there's no aux port or anything like that um, on either uh, mechanisms or speakers. And um, again, if you are gonna have that little splash of RGB, I wish that it would have been throughout. I know it would have probably been hard, but just even around the borders here, you could have had RGB come down here. I would say it's nicely diffused, um, but they're not really, really bright to where they're gonna really stand out in your setup or something like that. But it's more of a, just a background RGB kind of thing. Like one of these lights back here that I have, you're gonna notice it, you're gonna see it, but it's not gonna like be wow kind of thing. I will probably do a sound test after the pro section or wherever so you can hear, but I'm not sure how it's gonna pick up. So I'm gonna go ahead and say it now. You do not wanna turn these speakers over 75%. Uh, I would say if your music is not as on the bassy side, you can probably get up to 75% before you start hearing. Again, these are cheap speakers, so you're going to hear some um, like disruption or you're going to hear um, it really start to distort kind of as far as too much bass in a song that's not really bassy. And then if you have a song that's hip hop or something around that lines that might have a little bit more um, uh, bass in it and not bass boosted music, just bass. Um, I would not go over 70. Now there's no way to tell really where the volume's at unless on your phone or your computer or something like that, how you have it Bluetooth in. Maybe you can set the volume that way to know exactly, but just by turning the dial and, and just audibly like hearing it and stuff like that, I would say for songs that maybe have bass go to around 70% and songs that don't have bass keep it below 75. But I will say even at around 70%, these speakers are gonna be loud enough, especially if you're in an office or just like in a setup or something like that in your room or something and it's it's a smaller one. I would say these will work pretty, perfectly fine. These are going to be, you know, like I said, $30. They're on the cheaper end. And like I said, RGB not throughout, kind of wish that there was more than what it is. Um, no aux cord or anything like that to be able to plug it in um, to your phone, whatever, just make it easier. I know a lot of people are just getting rid of aux cords and stuff like that. That's probably why, because your phone or your tablet or something like that might you know, not have aux ports because they're all the companies, so they're just 
like why will we even put that in but on my opinion it should be on the cheaper and not really expensive to put in aux cords or aux ports um so i kind of wish they would have just had it you know um that's just my personal opinion let's get into some pros now some pros again for thirty dollars these are the best pair of speakers i've heard at that price point um honestly under fifty dollars or wherever it's probably in my top i would say five speakers under fifty dollars but around thirty dollars you know better than ten dollars twenty dollars or wherever around thirty dollars or sub thirty dollars i would say this is this you should definitely take a look if you're looking for cheap speakers to just have in your office that you're not going to blast or you're not trying to blast music all day kind of wherever you just you know listen to content like this or something like that and you're having it around 50 percent 60 percent or something like that again something that's not really bass uh centered then you'll be perfectly fine this will be a still for you in my personal opinion um kind of wish there was different colorways i didn't mention that in the cons but uh it's just black or wherever you have the rgb if that's something that's you know for your setup or wherever it would be perfect fit again you could have them separated or you know linked up or wherever so that's kind of like a, a pro with that being said let's go ahead and get into uh the sound test All right, with the sound test out the way, again, I'm not sure how to really capture it or really get across the, the, the volume. I don't really have something that shows me digital numbers. Again, if you're looking for something that might be a little bit um, on the bigger end, um, as far as quality and uh, might be actually like a bigger box type of thing and you maybe you want to take it out or something like that and travel with it and you don't want to have to hook it up to an outlet or maybe there is no outlet or something then i suggest checking out the the ion speaker i'll try to put it on screen and put a link in the description or wherever you can find it at walmart mine was like 120 140 or something like that again that's more expensive than these speakers but it has 50 hour battery life it has the rgb a microphone that you can use for karaoke or you know public speaking or something like that uh, but i never use it I, this is the thing that i use to go out and shoot my dancing videos when i do go out and dance and stuff um just because it has a, a rolling uh you know function with it and that's really really functional and um it has you know the usb ports bluetooth has an aux port and everything like that and i just overall think that speaker for that price is really good i use it in my office i use it in my living room again i'm not an audiophile i'm not setting up a surround sound or anything like that perfect balance of audio and stuff that's just not me so that's just more of a higher end option if you are looking to upgrade your setup with speakers um but overall if you just want something on your desk or wherever nice little knob to adjust the volume and stuff uh, as quick as you want to um maybe not have them standing up but just want to lay them down and you know having them connected so it's technically like one speaker then these the jinkos uh, m20s are just going to be the best option out there for you and if you are interested in these speakers there will be a link in the description to the marketplace on uh on Amazon as well as, as to the product page or whatever so you can buy this yourself um, they won't be affiliate links or anything like that it's just you know if you're interested in it pick it up and hopefully you guys have a squid tastic day and uh, that's gonna be it for the video again this is the Junko M20 speakers uh, kind of really surprised on the quality of the $30 speakers man uh, budget options are are still good and worth it and uh, 
you should definitely check them out. With that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care. Have a squid day. God bless you and yours. And deuces, everybody. Much love.